Hi, I'm Kathleen Choi, a Korean chef now living in the U.S. My passion is creating healthy and delicious foods using some of my favorite Korean ingredients. Join me in learning about Korean foods, ingredients, and culture. Next on Kathleen's Korean Kitchen. Today, I'll share two of the most popular Korean barbecue recipes for chicken dak galbi and beef kalbi short ribs. And later, I'll show you how to make delicious and savory chicken and vegetable fried rice, Latin inspired kalbi tacos, and kimchi salsa. Today, we are going to explore the ins and outs of the most popular Korean food that's enjoyed practically by everyone around the world. Bulgogi, the Korean barbecue. Bulgogi is a Korean word for fire meat, where meats and seafoods are pre-marinated and then grilled on a metal pan or griddle. When you go to a Korean restaurant, you'll notice a long list of meats and seafood for the barbecue. Everything from beef briskets, kalbi short ribs, chicken bulgogi, to fresh shrimps and octopus, and even beef tongue and tripes for the more adventurous diners. The origins of bulgogi come from the northern kingdom of Koguryo, which dates back over 1500 years. Traditionally, the meats were cooked on a charcoal grill. The charcoal intensifies the aroma of the meat and stimulates the appetite and brings out the true unique flavor of Korean food. Bulgogi is made from thin slices of sloin or other prime cuts of beef, kalbi beef short ribs, chicken takgalbi, and samgyeopsal pork tri-tips are some of the most common barbecue meats enjoyed by practically everyone. One of the best things about a Korean barbecue is that the main course comes with various panchan side dishes, fresh vegetables, dipping sauces, soup and rice. A popular way of eating bulgogi is to wrap the meat with lettuce and samjang sauce. In Korea, to honor your host or even a restaurant owner, you should always finish every morsel of food. Leaving leftovers is an insult to the chef, meaning that you did not arrive hungry. Korean barbecue is enjoyed best at a social setting with friends or family, where everyone can participate in the cooking process and share the various accompaniments that are served throughout the meal. In most Korean restaurants, there is a bell on the wall or at the edge of every table. So remember to ring the bell when you're ready to order. Make sure you bring a large appetite to a Korean barbecue. And don't feel guilty about helping yourself to seconds and thirds because all the foods are very healthful as well as delicious. Takgalbi is basically a dish where the chicken meat's seasoned with sweet and spicy gochujang chili-based marinade and cooked on a hot grill pan. It originates from Chuncheon, which is the capital city of Gangwon province, and that's where the famous Chuncheon Takgalbi originates. I'll start off with preparing the ingredients for today's Chuncheon Takgalbi. I have here three pieces of thinly sliced chicken breasts because they're leaner and cook faster on the grill. Cut them up into small bite-sized pieces. So in this bowl, I'll mix all the ingredients, starting with the low sodium soy sauce. Yes, you can get those from the Asian stores. This is a Korean soy sauce. 10 tablespoons. It will be used for both the chicken and the kalbi short ribs. In most of the sauces and marinades in Korean cuisine, we combine the sesame oil with the soy sauce. They marry very well together. 
four large tablespoons, two tablespoons of cooking wine. And for the sweetness, we'll add some brown sugar and the rest, I'll be grating some fresh Korean pear. I'll use probably half the pear. And to this, don't forget, I have some freshly minced garlic, keeping tablespoon in there, and some freshly minced ginger. So, so for the first marinade, it's going to be for the kalbi short ribs. I'm going to use half of it. Sesame seed is considered to be the oldest oil seed crop known to men, dating back to over 5,000 years. It is a common ingredient used in Korean cuisine. We use sesame seeds as garnish, in stir fries, sauces, soups, and seasonings, as well as for making sweets and rice cakes. Especially the black sesame seeds are high in calcium, copper, and other essential minerals, and they're used for both culinary and medicinal purposes in Korea. These beautiful aromatic herbal leaves are also referred to as perilla, which like basil is part of the mint family. Perilla oil extracted from the seeds has a richer flavor and scent compared to the sesame oil. They are both equally popular and commonly used as flavor enhancers in Korean foods. So in a mixing bowl, I'll add these strips of short ribs, which are already thinly sliced. They're very thin, so usually I score the meat so that the marinades just get absorbed and then tenderizes the meat and get all the flavors infused in there. And then I'll pour the marinade over it. I'm gonna leave half of it for the chinchon takkalbi, the chicken barbecue. So you're going to let the meat marinate for at least half hour. Wow, it smells really good. And then we'll work on the marinade for the chicken takkalbi. Some chili flakes. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. And to this, some gochujang vinaigrette. And then make sure you wash your hands really well after touching the meats. And next, I'm going to slice up the vegetables, starting with the cabbage. Usually, sweet potatoes or yams are used for this dish. But today, I'm going to use Korean hobak, which is the zucchini. Hobak and a carrot. Slice it at an angle like this into an eighth of an inch thickness. And same thing with the green onion. It's time to mix all the vegetables back here in the bowl with the chicken where it's marinating. That way you get all the juices all infused together from the marinades and with the vegetables. Give it a quick mix. I've prepared two different kinds of Korean barbecue pans. It's all about sharing. You know, the Korean barbecue is really a fun way of enjoying the barbecue with your family and friends. Put them in the middle of the dining table. Add some grapeseed oil or any cooking oil. So let's start with the chicken because it normally takes a little bit longer to cook compared to the short ribs. Make sure the heat's not on too high. Right now it's on medium-low heat. Spread it around the pan. In the next grill, I'll put on some kalbi ribs. Mmm. It smells so good. And the pear juice will give it an added sweetness. 
We've already got the check marks here. And again, it will cook so fast, probably half a minute on each side. And then you have to take it off the pan. The garlic and the ginger mixed with the soy sauce and sesame oil, the pear juice. Wow, this is going to be great. It's a lot faster than the chicken. See the check marks on there? If you don't have one of these grill pans, just use a skillet or you can even use your outdoor barbecue. But make sure it's a little thicker cut than this. This is the Korean way of barbecuing. Very thinly sliced meats. Since the chickens cut up really in small pieces, they tend to cook a lot faster at the same time as the vegetables, particularly the cabbage. And the kalbi is done. I'm gonna turn it off. Usually what we do after eating the chicken on the grill is keep some leftovers and make some fried rice. It's delicious. I'm gonna show you how to do that later. The chincheon tak galbi is ready. Now I have to plate the kalbi short ribs. Cut with the scissors, bite size. And we usually serve bulgogi with some leafy greens and with a side of samjang sauce. I'll try the chicken first. You can just eat it as is. Mm. The chicken is very moist, very flavorful, not too spicy. Now for the kalbi short ribs. This is everybody's favorite, mine too. Slightly pink on the inside, so it's medium. A touch of samjang sauce. Mm. Super tender, juicy, sweetness from the marinade. Oh wow, this flavor is really good. Let's check with Woody and to see what kind of drink he came up with for us this time. Today's mystery Korean ingredient for a drink is, get it, sesame seeds. You know, it's not too hard actually. I took a really old, old uh, Nepalese uh, recipe using cashew nuts and um, put it into this. So essentially I've dry roasted, um, maybe about a cup and a half of sesame seeds and it's with no oil just dry roast it and then add about a liter of water uh, to it and boil it out now normally i'd put sugar with this to sweeten it up but in this case i'm going to add it with uh, pineapple juice so i don't need it because the pineapple juice is very very sweet so in with the sesame seeds and give it a good blend now we're making essentially nut milk, or in this case, seed milk. So uh, let it blend for about mm, a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Let it really work itself out. Now, get a cheesecloth into a pitcher, and just so you don't spill it, put it into a, a, a bowl as well. Now, the cheesecloth is essentially gonna hold all the seeds, allowing the nut milk, seed milk, call it whatever you like, to come out. So at this stage, it's just a case of squeezing gently. I'm also then going to juice fresh pineapple into this. So there's my seed milk. You need fresh pineapple juice for this, really. It does make the world of difference. So this is what I call a Korean cappuccino. So it's going to use nut milk or sesame milk with fresh pineapple juice in here and then you shake it so no alcohol at all so it's incredibly good for you and look nature's cappuccino a la Korean style mm. Kathleen, you're gonna love it. 
sweet little nutty just like you. So now with the leftover chicken kalbi, what I'm going to do is mix up some rice. I'm going to add some more sesame oil. I'll add the rice. Of course, kimchi again could be another great ingredient to mix in here. You don't really have to, but if you have some kimchi, you can always mix it up into the fried rice. Mix it properly and you know all the juices from the marinades from the chicken and the vegetables They will be very yummy And to this I'm gonna crush up some kim which is the roasted Seaweed so they're very crispy a lot of flavor. I'm just gonna crush them up with my hand like this They taste so good with the fried rice and I've chopped up some sesame leaves as well earlier. Sprinkle some over. Give it a good mix. And it's done. Because they're all cooked anyways. So just turn the heat off. You can just enjoy the chicken kalbi fried rice right there on the grill. Now for the next recipe, it's Mexican inspired. Kalbi tacos with a little bit of kimchi on top. Wow, yum. I'm also going to chop up some cilantro and the sesame leaves. So here I have some tortillas, whole wheat. To this, I'll add the kalbi. Wow, it looks so good. Very tender, just a few pieces in there. Sour cream, mm, just a little spoonful. And I have some shredded cheese. Of course, like me, if you like some added tanginess, a little crunch, a little bit of the kimchi in there. And sprinkle some chopped cilantro. And of course, I have a piece of lime here. I'm gonna make a couple more. Looks yummy. served with a couple of pieces of lime. And really quickly, I'm going to make kimchi salsa. It's very simple. All you need is a piece of tomato like this. Just chop them up just like the way you make your salsa at home, the tomatoes. Gotta say the tomatoes goes really well with the kimchi and the sesame leaves. To this, I'll add the rest of the chopped kimchi from earlier. And then the remaining sesame leaves that I've chopped up. And of course, the cilantro is one of my favorites. About a half a cup. And to this, like I said earlier, a slight touch of sesame oil, about half a teaspoon. Just mix them all together. Just squeeze some lime in there too. Give it a good mix. And there you have it, kimchi salsa. That goes really great with your kalbi tacos.
Now it's time to see what Dr. Dia has to say about the health and nutritional benefits of today's ingredients. Nutritious sesame are super seeds which are packed with essential minerals such as calcium, copper, and selenium. They are also very high in antioxidants. In Asian medicine, sesame seeds are said to nourish the yin, those substances and functions which keep us vital and young. Sesame oil is also very soothing and can heal inflamed skin. Sesame seed paste can even be used to treat hemorrhoids. So, no matter which end you put it in, sesame does your body good. We're out of time. So I'll see you next time on Kathleen's Korean Kitchen for more yummy Korean fusion recipes. Until then, take care everybody and remember, life's delicious, so taste it. Every day, more Americans are discovering the wonderful flavors of Korean food. Thanks to the concept of sharing through Korean barbecue, they are turning mealtime back into social gatherings spent with family and friends. My favorite part about Korean barbecue is the fact I can have my family over. It's great for sharing, um, having company. It's fun, it's flavorful, and um, I can spend time with the people that I love. I love it. I didn't even know anything about Korean food. I knew very little about it, and I think it's so tasty and it's just something I like. I really like the Takarabi. <laughs> Korean food's delicious, so taste, taste it. it.